So I'm editing today's vlog and I smell something cooking and realize that Sierra has made some eggs, hard, over hard eggs with some avocado. Thank you, mm -hmm. very nice of you. Good morning guys, welcome back to another day. Uh, I just got the phone with Tiffany, she's just leaving the gym, gonna head to the grocery store to grab some stuff. I think she's gonna finally open up her Instapot that she got for Christmas and uh, make us a meal because we got uh, two practices, one for Sierra, one for Bryce, around the same time, early practices, so an early, dinner, late lunch kind of thing going on today. So she's thinking about Instapot. Um, Bryce is still upstairs and we're kind of getting our day off started slowly. So as I said, yesterday's vlog, uh, the low last night here out here was like 28 degrees. Uh, and so I woke up this morning and it was 30. And uh, I made a joke, I'm like, oh, I was gonna put my ice skates on and go ice skating on the pool, but it's not cold enough for like to freeze the ice. I don't know what the, I don't know what the, uh, the temperature needs to be or for how long to freeze like a body of water, like a lake. Um, I assume it's like below freezing for an extended period of time, but um, obviously it just dipped below freezing for a couple of hours and it's already back up to insane 39 degrees. So not that cold. We're gonna have bugs for dinner. Yeah. 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 What would it look like? Tiffany's busting out her Instapot. The big one. It's the big one. And what are you making? Um, pepper jack chicken. Pepper jack chicken. Awesome. What do you got going on? Just going through the top part of my backpack because it kind of had a lot of clothes in it I forgot about from um, my last practice because we went straight from somewhere. I don't remember. But yeah, I had a lot of clothes in there I had to take out. Speaking of backpack, Bryce got a new one from the club. It's got the club logo on that. It's a Nike bag. And he is, he needs to kind of go through his old one and put it together. Why don't you do that, Bryce, before yeah. practice? Excuse me. Bryce decided to put a shoe on the table that we eat on, so. All right, so first order of business, the basketball. It's gonna go on the biggest pouch. The biggest pouch. Biggest pouch question is where do your shoes go like we were thinking this side pouch but now like the balls in there and my sho shoes That's yeah and there's only one there's only one side pouch you can't and put there's both. this back thing but you can't i can fit both shoes in this same well, thing that's a big pouch yeah you can put your shoes on the side there but with the ball i can't hmm try you'll have to look at the what the other guys do like that like straight up and down That. Oops, nope, no, no, this. Yeah, there you go. Zip that up. Let's see what happens. It's just a big bowl, but this one. Not that big. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you'll have to look at. You'll have to see the other guys. All right, what else you got in your bag? What else do you have in your basketball bag? Uh, my knee pads. Any pads, right? Oh, new ones and my backup old ones. Your old ones, okay. These can, I guess, go back here. I mean, it's your backpack. You can put them wherever you want, wherever you think is the best, best place to put them. You got I lots of like, different storage. I feel like I should put them with the ball because then I'll have to open this bag up and this side up fine. to grab my shoes. There's this side open. pouch here too. So in the side pouch. Essentially, you want the stinky stuff to be separate, though. Yeah. And then if you have like your jersey no, right and stuff, yeah. it's open. Oh, wait, ears out. Okay. See, I'm thinking snacks and water. Oh, okay, okay. That. Okay. Yeah, that. Anything else in here? That's pretty much it, huh? Yeah. Not much in a basketball bag. These are my old, old knee pads. Your old, old. Not your old, but your old, old. And then uh, side pouch for water bottle and for snacks, protein bars, that sort of thing. We need to stock up. Perfume? You got perfume? <laughs> Um, some cologne, some body I'll spray. Put that on the side. Yeah. Or I'll put it on this little pouch by my belt. And then I can, I might be able to fit. If this was like wider, then I could fit my uh, jug in it. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. It's what big enough? Oh, phone. Phone. Is it going to the top pouch? Yep, right there. Yeah. And then nice. I have a lot of these for my earbuds too. Yeah. My old one would be all like squished because like. It's only this little in your pocket. Little slouch right there, yeah. This is like really big. 
it like probably three, four phones. Three or four phones, because you know, we all have three or four phones. I don't, but I'm just saying, <laughs> we should fit all of our phones in there. Gotcha. So we're gonna need a place to store our phones, guys, and put it in the tub of Bryce's bag. Got it. All right, here's the before. We have the season chicken breast on the bottom, green bell peppers, frozen green beans, some butter, some chicken broth, and fresh mushrooms. Oh, yeah. So, how long is this gonna cook for? 10 minutes once it builds up the pressure. 10 minutes. Yes, but yeah. But it has to build the pressure first. Right. We learned that last time. Right. <laughs> so now, it's very this exciting. Is the scary part you close it and just hope that it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, hope it doesn't blow up. <laughs> Cook under high pressure. I've only used the small one twice, so I'm still not a pro at this. Pressure cook. Mm -hmm. There you go. High pressure. We're trying to wonder how long this is actually supposed to heat up before it actually starts cooking. And this keep warm lights was tripping me out. I don't know if it's supposed to be on or not. It went on automatically. But it's starting to steam. We'll see. Kids are out shooting some hoops. Let's see, I'm trying not to step in the landmines of dog poop. Just counting the piles. It's been a while since Bryce has been out there to pick it up. Dog typically poops two or three times a day. So, you know, a couple of days and you get yourself a backyard full of poop. All right, so uh, it took about 20 minutes for this thing to reach pressure and for this little stopper to pop up. And then it started cooking. And the cook time is 10 minutes. So we're still trying to figure this out, how this whole thing works. We, we are under the assumption that you turn it on and within a matter of a couple of minutes, it's ready to cook and it cooks in 10 minutes, right? You look at the recipes, it's like cook time, 10 minutes, cook time, 15 minutes, but it's like you gotta wait for the actual pressure to build up, which can take up to 40 minutes, the manual says. It says depending on how much food and what pressure you choose, it could take up to 40 minutes to build pressure. So that's something like, that's really not much faster if you think about it, right? Because so you can just start cooking something and it takes you know 30 minutes to cook on the stove or 30 minutes to cook in an oven or something. But I guess it depends on a case-to-case -case basis. But uh, I'm curious, if you guys use your Instapot regularly, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Does that sound right? Does that sound like, this is three pounds of chicken and all the stuff that you saw Tip put in there, and the mushrooms, the, the bell peppers, the green beans, the broth. It took about 20 minutes to build the pressure and then it's cooking for 10. So it's total time 30, plus whatever the cool down is, which it's beeping now, so I don't know what that means now. I think it's done. It's done, so now we to release the pressure. But yeah, now that Tiffany's got this thing, be prepared to start seeing Instapot recipes on her Pinterest. If you follow her Pinterest, it's Tiffy with the number two. All right, you ready to do this? No, I'm not scared. You do it. You're scared, really? You just turn it and make sure your face is in your mouth. Yeah. I'll use a napkin just to be on the safe side, but it should be just as simple as... Yeah, see? Booyah. All right. I hope so. Oh! It looks done, it smells done. I back with that. Oh, wow. As long as the chicken's yeah. done, veggies are done. Ooh, it smells good. Wow. Ooh. Chicken looks to be done, but there's a lot of liquid in there. I'm supposed to shred it and add cheese. I mean, how much broth did you put in? One cup. But that's gonna be for like, the frozen green beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely done. Sweet. Well, ladies, how'd it turn out? Good. We started eating rotten, so we're like scrubbing it down. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Ready for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Of course. What are you excited about? Oh. <clears throat> At the end of practice, we're going to get our new jerseys and backpack and warm ups, our new everything. I'm really excited because the jersey's going to look super cool this year. You think? And we have new backpacks too. So it's always fun. New stuff is fun, right? <laughs> they have arrived. Actually beat the boys home. Yeah. Normally, practice actually got done right at 7:30 today, so yeah, we beat them home. But Sierra's super excited to pull out all of her stuff and show me and show us and look at them better. So this is the backpack from last year, or yeah, mm -hmm. the one I've been using, and then this is our new ones. 
this one looks smaller. Like not nice as like, no, it does look nicer. It's not as like fat yeah, and bulky. I like that though. Yeah, because um, you, you'll have to stay more organized and less stuff in there. I can't keep shoving yeah. stuff in. And we don't have our name or number on this this time. It's still really nice. So it looks like they've got way nicer water bottle holders because the one on there is starting to rip for me. <laughs> it's got like a front pouch, phone pouch. This is probably where I'm going to put my shoes. It's like a big open pouch in here. Put my shoes in there. And then in here they have all the jerseys and stuff. Bandex, socks. Another jersey, another jersey, <laughs> warm-ups. Guess you need to start playing some uh, volleyball games. I love that. It's so, like, perfect because it's not like our last year's jerseys were like this, like a sticker basically like ironed on. Oh, yeah. And this is like in the jersey. It's, it's the same material as the jersey. I know you guys can't yeah feel it like we can but it actually is part of the jersey yeah where's this, this is that? like that sticker that they like iron on you. so this year nice that looks so awesome and you know last year we had like the camo on the side this one like the camo's all over and yep. it fades down to black i like that it has one. a glossy on the back too i'm thinking the black one's gonna be my favorite blue one's my favorite look at that blue it's so pretty you can't see the logo as good but it's i like how the white the top one's white so okay. we have two long sleeves. Two long sleeve, and then this one's going to be short. Yes. Which, I like the long sleeves better. But this one's white. We've never had a white jersey before, as long as I've been playing. And it's got the pink logo, like the other one did. Mm -hmm. And this one is opposite, the solids on the top and the pink. Right. The camera's at the bottom. So. Very exciting. Yeah. I think we're going to wear either blue or black this on Saturday. Yeah. Tomorrow. All right, guys, so we just got back home and um, on my way to Bryce's basketball practice, I stopped by our P.O. box uh, just because I knew we had some stuff in there uh, post-Christmas. And one of the things that was in there uh, was a gift for my buddy Joe, a.k.a. Mickey Slick. Uh, he got me a new mouse for my gaming PC, for my streams. It's a uh, Corsair M65 Pro RGB, which matches my keyboard that I just got. Uh, for around my birthday, uh, I got the uh, K70 speed switches, and so now I got a matching mouse. Very cool. So, thank you very much, uh, Mickey Slick. Appreciate you, homie. Little little thing here it says Merry Christmas, Clintus. Hopefully, this helps with your potato aim. Love you, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. It's very kind. Well, I ended up watching the uh, third Transformers movie, as usual. Sierra fell asleep, and I uh, didn't finish it. Bryce went upstairs. He didn't really care. He's not really a movie guy. Um, but hey, the marathon continues tomorrow night. I plan on watching uh, movie four, and then sometime this weekend watch the fifth one, which I've never seen. I've never seen the fifth one. So um, yeah, I'm kind of digging the movie marathons. I'm gonna keep it going by another series either that I've already seen or I haven't seen and uh, rewatch, watch them through. Maybe The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, something like that. Ooh, The Matrix. I haven't watched The Matrix in so long. It's like my favorite movie too. I wonder if it still holds up. 20 years later. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, no plans as of yet, but it's Friday, so we're doing something. It's the kid's last day of, oh, no, wait, we do have plans. <coughs> Scratch that back. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, we're meeting up with my mom uh, to see Mary Poppins, and I believe my uh, niece and nephew will be joining us as well. So uh, probably that, lunch, whatever else. So stay tuned, check back tomorrow, and vlog on.